Yes, hello. Oh my god! Whoa. This is on two. Okay, I should probably take one of them off. Whoa, whoa, okay. Yay, okay. Jesus Christ. Because my mic, it, it, I can take it off and stuff. I normally take it off only for when I'm in parties. And then put it back on only for when I'm in parties. And I've accidentally um, probably just... It fell on the floor earlier and I didn't know. And I actually went over it on my chair. And the sides kind of, um, it kind of ripped a bit. Right near them, right near where I plug it in. So I thought I broke it. So it looks at the fan. Um, yeah, I'll know. I know that now. Looks like they've changed that. Um, I'm gonna say is I have played a bit of this before. When I say I have, it's my first time playing it. I mean like fully playing it. I just couldn't be bothered to put it all in. <laughs> So if it ever comes up with a save, then it's just me. It would have been me messing around in it or something. I've never properly played it. I've just, you know, gone, just skimmed through it all. Ah, uh, they're all on sale. So if I enjoy this, they're on sale for another two weeks. So I'll probably buy season two and play that as well. Show controller buttons. Subtitles on, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, episode I've only been, I've only been playing episode one a bit, but may, I've been, I mainly haven't been paying attention until I have to do something. But now I am going to pay attention. Glenn will remember you lied. <laughs> Jesus. Four hundred. Hang on. What? Oh, that's spe hang on, a special episode. I should probably remove the thing at the top because it's in the way. Good, I hope I do because I, I was going to play Lego Marvel Super Heroes, but I've played that. Um, I played that before, so I thought I'd just do something else instead of playing the same stuff because I can't. I, I don't find much to play to begin with. I'm like a million percent sure you can move it at least. It's been so long. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can. Okay. I could. Yeah, I could just do it like that. Yeah, that. Right. Now I've made it minimal. Oh, right, yeah. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Um... You know what, what they say about reckoning. No, I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. No, I've... Yeah, I'm gonna move it because it's kind of in the way at the top anyways over the text. Might move it to the move it there or there maybe. Oh wait, you can actually change the transparency of it. <laughs> Driven a bunch of fellas mean. down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually's about now I get the I didn't do it. Oh, it's fine. I know. I don't really care about how many people watch. I just enjoy playing it. And what do you say? I say, yep. I know you didn't. Got what looks like a 1091E here, Peter. 
the rear view mirror. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. You got the gun you got ready. Senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for he coming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's not stop. Looking. But that's government Man, property, look. and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming. Hold on, this looks a bit... Yeah, is the video buffering. Hold on, this looks a bit laggy. Um. No. Oh. The reason is on my laptop, and I'm using a mouse connected to my laptop, so I'm not exactly used to, you know. It's probably just my laptop just being dumb, but I just chose it like it's laggy. We have a quick check and then I will go on with the game. <laughs> okay. Looks like it's fine. Okay. Good. Just a bit delayed on my la on my laptop though. Yeah, I'm only using it just to check the chat anyways and stuff. Screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more oh! hilarious if I do Someone in the road! Oh, no, the cashews are coming through my laptop, man. Go away. It's chipping notifications. Oh, shit. Thirsty. 
Ah! Fuck! My leg! <sighs> hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Why the hell did he have his gun out? Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Damn it. I have to kick you out, man. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I need to drag myself out that window. The officer's shotgun is over there. Yes, it is. Officer? God damn. God damn. A ah, keys, keys, yes. Gonna be awake. <gasps> yeah, yeah, he is. Officer. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun! Don't make me do this! Oh, right in the head. That'll kill him. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, that's wrong. The only, per the only two people I know is Lee and Clem. Because I know that, you know, they're the two people. You know, two, on the front cover as well, which is obvious. I've heard about this game for years. I've always wanted to play it to the game game, and now it's perfect time because it's on sale on Xbox. Is that a way of getting them away? Or is that just someone just shooting? Yeah, I mean it's Telltale, so we'll probably know. Hello. 
Hello? Anybody? How on earth is this much happened already? Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> you need a little help? Yeah. There's just been zombies, I don't know why you'd be staring here anyways. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Oh, I think it's a bit too late. Oh, Jesus. They need more than Jesus. I, I'm just going to be honest. Two messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Oh. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Whoa, okay. Yes, so, um, that'll be obviously that's, um, Clementine. This is Clementine's house, so it makes sense, you know. Because obviously, she she said Clementine. Hello. You need to be quiet. Who the hell are you? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm okay. They tried to get me. Obviously, I know. I'm hiding until my parents come home. Sense. Every stream will be every episode, so I won't be playing more than one. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Not in Clementine. one stream anyways, but I'm Lee. I'll probably, you know, I'll, I'll probably edit it on my phone or something. Oh, Where yeah. are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. That see? is smart. Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> Whoa! That'd be him, Sandra. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh. 
silly, Sandra. Man. Hi there. Hi. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. At least she knows. She's not dumb at all. You've been all by yourself through this? Obviously. Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I don't think that don't tell her yet. A little while, you know. Oh. Yeah. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Well, what should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe yeah. at night. Anyone with at least a few brain cells would know Stay that. Close to me. Move? Yep, okay. Getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. He sounded like Tom Hanks for a second when he said mama. Forrest Gump. Monday Forrest. Forrest Gump. Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna <laughs> hurt you. <laughs> Don't eat us! Well, for a second, you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... That was Josh Haley, but he's gone. A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's come out. You gotta go. Lee, quick. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> look at our Clementine. <laughs> She's helping. Oh, bless her. Were any of those guys neighbors, too? Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both.
thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel. How'd this happen? Probably from the comics. Jumping a fence. Running from something? Just like everybody else. What type of danger has the girl seen? The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. A fist. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Teenage girl with her gut spilled out on the floor stood up from the oh, dead wait, and climb tried time, to climb fight. No. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, <laughs> that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? <laughs> like when a horse plops? Just like that. Yes. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Jesus. Hey, get up. <sighs> Hello, Itchy. person. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. 
But I bet your daddy nice. scared him all away, huh? <laughs> I'm uh, not her dad. Neba. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're oh. in the middle of fence. Kenny. There's a tractor and everything. We better Damn. get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Kenny. Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Ken. <laughs> Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. Well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me <laughs> whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Might as well go and check Duck. Ken Jr. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Jesus. Damn. Oh shit, Dan. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks.
Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Good. Paramount. How are you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. He's already said that. So I guess I've got to go back over there. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, <laughs> and slower than, uh... Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Seems like an all right dude. It seems, you never know though. Hey, you two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> you good? Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Back in a bit. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. Nice. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. Long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Ah. 
Herschel is in the barn. Good. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Whoa! Go! I'll get my gun! Ah. Oh. Sit the boy, sit the boy, sit the boy, sit the boy. Come on. I got you. Now so. Get this tractor off of me. worried about the boy look at him but you weren't worried about that please just go get out and never come back My God. You got that ride to make it okay. if you want it. I had to save the boy, he was easy old. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there! 
You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Run. Yeah, go. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out. Or He's smash no his head. bitten. Daddy, stop him. Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just Kill him. a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! <laughs> Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan <laughs> to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> Oh, of course. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! 
because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Whoa. Ah! What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Oh, she didn't let up. Get your pills. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. You've said like three times. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. 
See, Dad's a smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. <laughs> Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. You don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? No kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies. My friend Alfred has a peanut allergy. <laughs> but you're cool? I think so. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. Talk about your family. Do they like hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. Yes. Ow! Oh, are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Find you a bandage. Saw first aid kit. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little, not too much. You sure? Yeah. Does it hurt when I do this? A little. Oh. Not too much. You're so not going to be doing that. Yeah. Let's get this cut. Back, out. right. Yes, please. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. But we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured.
Find anything? It's a photo of the family who own this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Oh... It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help. Uh, I remembered. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? It's probably for the best anyways. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. <sighs> we can't let anything happen to Ducky. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? 
art on the talkie or whatever. This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, well done. I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Should we find the keys first? I mean, he's just. We there. just need to get back oh. to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. No help. <coughs> the pills are in there. But here you go. Thank you. Of course. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Lovely. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! All right then, wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal. Over a girl. <laughs> I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress.
There's an axe over there. We could use that. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's more than that. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. He's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stuff these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Their groaning attracts the others. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Destruction. Jesus. An age-old problem. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Jesus, this is difficult. We um, should keep looking around for weapons. I was doing that anyways. They really want to get into that room. <laughs> ah! I could use the pillow. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? I've already heard Not this. tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Get 
get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Ah. You have to be careful with your ride up on ramps like this. Yes, now I know. Okay, I've just I've just summed it up in my head of what I could actually do. Tissue paper. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking.
Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. Shut up, If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend when i don't want that it's not christian oh. please just leave me please go Come with us, and we'll find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Gee. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? I thought it just better. So I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch Don't this. Don't look. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. God bless you, all right? God bless you too. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've 
got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those now, pills so. out of the pharmacy. pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry, I mean the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know? You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. There's no getting in there from out here. That grate does its job. Yep. Hey. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those... Things out there. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, uh. luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Jesus. <laughs> they just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. before you guys got here. And they weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? 
I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Right. I can't reach that brick. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He just text up and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? What do you mean by that? What's it matter? I guess it doesn't. When something like this happens, I suppose. All that matters is where you are, not how you got there. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Oh, well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. It's a combination lock. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Those TVs are on. And I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Open sesame. That won't work. I was hey. kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Oh, Jesus. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I uh. did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Mm, 
Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, ah, brick, didn't work. brick, yes. And that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Finally. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Thank you. 
Thanks, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. Uh, I should know what? Honest. You said I should know. Shit. Oh, uh. sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Okay, then. Can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something real strong over there. The cane. The cane. Um, oh, why do this again? Oh, my. Jesus Christ. Don't. Oh, thank thing. God. Especially a good friend. <laughs> Made some good choices, Jesus. Yeah, I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup, and I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up with the girl from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway. See you around.
Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. She liked you, too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. Makes pretty Jumatron had this mini gun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, it's just a walkie-talkie. It probably wasn't much use to begin with. It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. <laughs> what do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, you think? <clears throat> when it's really not. No, so I finished episode one. To be next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. 
Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dale. Hi, Dead. Andrew St. John. Beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! Oh. There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. No more, please! No more, please! Please, please. <laughs> Whoa. Thirty percent of players chose Duck. He's a child. Give Irene the gun. Fair, I mean I don't blame people. Most people chose Doug. I'm shocked that 30% of players only chose Doug. Some people are evil, man. Can I skip this? Yes. No. Really? Oh! I only chose because he's a child. I guess I'm gonna have to pay the consequences. Oh, that's me done then. What time is it now, anyways? Quarter to ten. Ugh. Ow! Fair enough. Um, yeah, let me just check. Right. Okay. I'm going to skedaddle now. Skedaddle. I'm going to poof. Just like your dad.